to be planned, but we ultimately uh, put it on the DSP processor and what was on ASIC and GPP. So currently in CARE we are developing the software defined radio and where we have multiple DSPs, ASICs, FPGAs and, and, and the same problem. And so you're solving the same problem uh, where uh, this is one of the boards we have uh, with an FPGA and uh, the digital signal processor and we are mapping things here and there. There are things which we are doing on GPP, then there are things which we are doing on DSP processor. Uh, sorry, this slide is not working, but primarily uh, so you need to decide once you are uh, implementing the system what goes on DSPs, FPGAs and uh, programmable processor. This is yet another project which we did earlier and here it was a, 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 a very interesting system. It was a massive a passive navigation system. It's, uh, we put it on a flying object and the flying object is looking down. It has a video camera in it. So it is taking a real video and then the, the, the platform also stores all the satellite imagery of the area. So in real time the system can locate itself without any GPS. So with doing image processing techniques, it's a, the bird is flying, it's looking down and it knows where it is. You know, by, by just looking down, uh, doing uh, 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 pattern matching, where it's, uh, it takes the video, then it searches for that piece of the clip or the frame uh, in a satellite map. And it maps it and it just keeps doing it on one frame it's like this is the position it finds itself here then this is the position it finds itself here this is the position it finds itself here so it basically it, it knows where it is you know there was an, another system which requires us to do a uh, lot of signal processing and the system once we were designing uh, from the scratch uh, we had two boards on one uh, we had the uh, uh, the FPGAs, uh, two of these FPGAs, and the other one was uh, another another FPGA and the DSP processor. And then we have another system which we did spectrum analysis, uh, primarily done everything on the FPGA. And uh, this is a communication receiver. Uh, so this brings me to really uh, the uh, the last slide. Uh, and then I'll spend a little time in just going over the uh, the grading policies and what I expect uh, fr uh, from you to do in this course and 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 you already know what what you are up to. So uh, the advancement in VLSI technology has enabled engineers to develop products and solutions to complex engineering problems. That's and it's very different. These skills are different than the software skills and very different. And not many people have these skills, honestly. You hardly find people having these skills because uh, uh, maybe of many reasons, because it's difficult to learn. It's not, and, 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 and not many people are actually, uh, uh, perhaps, are getting into this torture. Uh, digital designs are, but for me, it's really fun to uh, exercise. Uh, the algorithms are mapped using digital design techniques uh, that exploit multi-layers of parallelism. FPGA technology is very handy and can be put uh, to use for uh, devising innovative solutions. And this brings me uh, to the course. So in, in the course, again, if I just recap what I have said, but it's just an introduction uh, to uh, what you are going to see in this course, we'll, we'll go step by step. Okay, we'll spend time learning Verilog, though most of you perhaps must be knowing Verilog already, but still we'll go cover, uh, quickly cover Verilog. And then we'll get into uh, the uh, converting algorithms, MATLAB, or maybe C to fixed point. And then actually uh, spending time in designing the top level architecture. And, and after we do that, and then we get in inside the blocks that all the design options, at least you need to know that how to do parallel designs, how to do dedicated designs, how to do timeshare design, what are the techniques which can automatically help you to do uh, uh, these designings. And, and, and then uh, uh, the state machines and the microcoded state machines uh, designing your own uh, processors. And uh, I'll, I'll be taking few quizzes and they will not be surprised. I'll tell you before I take a quiz. Whenever we complete a major milestone in the course, we will have a quiz so that you just it help you to prepare uh, for uh, the next stage of uh, the, the assessment. Uh, there will definitely be few labs assignments which I would like people to do alone so that you learn again. It's, uh, it's course obviously is different, it's a hands-on course. Unless you sit down and work, you will not 
because just like programming, unless you do it, you cannot just learn it from the books. So you got to actually sit down, do most of these assignments will be in Verilog. So uh, I'll expect you to do these assignments alone. Uh, you can take help by, by just uh, consulting each other, but not copying, you know, uh, the assignments. But then projects can be done in a team. Uh, so you can do it alone if you want to. You can have you can team up with other people, uh, one to three students, and, and 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 these projects because this is an advanced course. There are several advanced topics which we will learn: uh, the the techniques, the unfolding techniques, the folding transformation, the C slow techniques. So we'll see. Uh, the, the book has actually written in a way that it covers the undergraduate and also the postgraduate. So it's spending more. A time and emphasis on the advanced stuff, but covering quickly uh, the basic things. I don't know currently whether we are taking one sessional or two sessional. Depends if uh, the the case is only taking one, so we'll take one. Otherwise, we'll take two sessionals, and then the final uh, exam. As you see, there is some tolerance in the grading because it depends um, how good projects you do, whether you know, and how many labs assignments I give you. So I'll, I'll just adjust it accordingly. Maybe if there are more. Uh, assignments I've given you will increase uh, the the weightage of the assignments uh, to 15 percent because mostly it's hands-on. Uh, in, in, the, in the final exam uh, I expect people to actually do the designing, expect people to uh, do the coding there and then usually I ask people to copy the code and then code it actually uh, uh, on, on, their, on the machines, actually simulate it and then submit the code. So because it's again a hands-on course, so I expect people to, uh, to design things and actually then to make it work. And for that you have, you know, days to, you can have two, three days uh, design something there. There may be mistakes which you commit while uh, writing code in the exam, but then you can take the same code uh, home and then you can just make it work. Uh, for your own comfort and for knowing that what whatever you have designed actually also works. So, so this is uh, 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 all about the course. And if you have any questions, I'll, I'll be very glad to answer. And book, try to read it. It's uh, thing. It's, it's it's a good material to read. So as uh, I've shown you, uh, this is the uh, 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 the pirated version. Uh, and this perhaps I'll put one copy in the library so you will have both but you can always uh, also download it from the internet just type in the title and uh, you'll find uh, several sites where they are hosting this book so just download it but I think a hard copy is important because this, that help you to actually uh, read it so koi sawal ho kisi ka to anji book book ka jo naam hai wo hai digital uh, design of signal processing systems a practical approach Either. So this is the book name, so Digital Design of Signal Processing Systems uh, and, uh, and then there is a, this is a book on Verilog and this is uh, another book which is more uh, hardware focused, more Verilog examples and uh, by this, this book selected. Okay. Questions? Okay. Sir, Jee, please. Something in your mind. Sir, being a member of PSN, being uh, like my mentor as well, uh, sir, I have something in my mind that uh, usually in uh, university broad there is something done that uh, the project or class is assigned to people that we do this in this whole course. And you just uh, represent it or implement it and bring it to me. And that is his whole goal. Because if he goes through that, then he it's the whole course he has understood. So my intention of attending this course, however, I am in this thing to this thing that uh, my intention is that if I do this course at least, I go through such a thing that I can implement something and I bring up and that should be my uh, overall result or my overall chapter of the course. Uh, so there are like design courses where you know just there is only one design but I'm not sure if in, in this course but if honestly if you there are people because I taught this course you know uh, for years and uh, there are people who would do just excellent work and they publish things and I know many like pura MS ka thesis kar lete in si course mein. 
Jinong Jinko, they, they are really uh, too much into this, and especially, especially the people who are actually working in, in different organizations, they do amazing work in, in their projects. Or if you, if you already know this, then paper will be you know. But uh, this is something which I can look at, like crafting it in a way that you do the assignments and assignment makes into a bigger project and a bigger project makes into even something bigger. I'll try to make something like this. It can happen. For example, if especially with the thesis option, you can see it like this. For example, uh, this will happen that you take an application and map it in hardware. So you go step by step. Aap application le le, I'll, I'll, I can give you this flexibility that once learning about uh, coding things in C, taking an application and already code, let's say uh, you want to work on neural networks for example, aap kahin, I want to make this chip which does the back propagation neural network or I want to do this chip which does the routing for example, the router is the router, the forwarding engine, Ajobi, whatever you are up to. So you can just start thinking ke your, your special interest in case or uh, in your master is this particular subject. Let's say may I, your interest is in pattern recognition. As, and you say, Achha, kyunke may I, you should intend to even work on pattern recognition. So you select in any application of your interest. Gaira computer engineering kar rahe hain, interest hoga. Network se lekar, communication se lekar, security se lekar, any interest you have. So we start from there. You say, you take, and some of you, not all of you, but if like some of you wants to do that, I'm fine with it. So the first assignment we do will be the conversion, like writing C code, converting it into uh, something which can be implemented in hardware. So you do that, do that exercise. Instead of doing the assignment, you, the, you, you do that exercise. Then we will representations, that how you represent an algorithm graphically so that you can map. problem. So you are moving step by step and also gaining experience that actually how should you actually design these things. Next step is KG RTL design hai. Ab interestingly, ek cheez hai application. There are different ways you can actually uh, it, it scan or uh, the whole spectrum of design techniques. For example, main aapko hun, it's a pattern recognition. Theek hai, humne bohat sari pattern recognition ki problem solve ki hai. It depends ke how intensive the problem is of pattern recognition. Let's say you are doing one fingerprint. One fingerprint in one second. It's a simple problem. So you do unfolding. You design something which should take minimum area. You are doing encryption, for example. AES kar rahe Simple encryption, but your maximum data rate is 2 megabit per second. Ye ek, ek architecture banega. AES algorithm is same. But there you will try to make it very small. Then you are doing something which requires 10 megabit per second. Then you are doing 40 megabit per second. Then you are doing 10 gigabit per second. You know, it's a whole spectrum of architecture of the same application. So then what you can do is, as we learn these techniques, you say, I will select an architecture. AES is a good example. FEC is another example. Pattern matching is another example. I can just give you examples. Ke aap usi ko leke chalte aage. And you say, ke ji, routing is a good example. Theek hai, aap ke ji, routing hai, ek sa router hai. And then you just go through these steps. And uh, device, when you folding, pad rahe hai, fold kar dein, usse, unfold kar rahe hai, usko hi unfold kar dein. Aur is karte karte you uh, then do your project and and wo jo log hain, wo phir, honestly, isme kam se kam agar paper wagaira publish karna chahe, it'll be very easy to for you to actually publish uh, your work in because architecture is unique hota hai. It's like uh, architecture of a house. It's not standard, you know, it's, it's your imagination how you are actually crafting it. So, because you can always present it. There's something your own, it's your creativity and and then you can just take it and write it a paper and something like that. So, you can do something like that. But then it will final exam. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. This presentation will get you from the website, so you can just uh, uh, 